It's a, a shed that I built a couple of years ago, and uh, you see a little bit of snow piled up in, in, in the ground. Right now it is 924 on Monday morning. I'll be publishing and posting and uh, sending this YouTube video out to, uh, out to all of you pretty soon. Um, we're going to do something different today. Um, I'm not going to do any sketching. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a series of uh, images of a tanker build. It is called the, um, uh, the name of the ship is the Frontier and it was a, a double hull tanker and it's uh, just a nice uh, great uh, series of shots that a friend uh, has sent to me back in the day when it was being built uh, not too many years ago. It's a modern ship still in service. Um, double hull tanker. Uh, many of you answered the question about the uh, Exxon um, Exxon Mediterranean, uh, the old Exxon Valdez, and before that, and the captain who was Joseph Hazelwood, you know, uh, and I want to say something about Captain Hazelwood. Um, there's no doubt that he, he made a mistake, but um, that's not his legacy. You know, he didn't get up that, that day and, and uh, think that was going to happen to him. So, uh, you know, there but by the grace of God goes any of us. Uh, because we can screw up. So, um, yeah, it's an interesting fact, but um, it's not a joke by any means. It, you know, it really destroyed um, that man's career. So, um, I hesitated to uh, to bring that up, and but I think it's part of history and it's important. Okay, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to pause here for just a minute. So this is the uh, <coughs> excuse me. This was the ship that um, that we we're talking about, and we're going to go through a series of pictures. The name of the ship is the Alaska Frontier, and uh, one of the questions I'm going to have to you, and I'm going to put it out there in the discussion, is uh, when was the when was the Alaska Frontier? Uh, well, let's just say uh, when was it launched? When was it launched? And, you can all respond to that question. I'll ask you a couple of questions throughout the video and then you can respond. That's one of the ways that we're keeping track so uh, uh, who's watching the videos. And by the way, uh, not everybody's watching the video so once again I'm going to say to reach out to your friends because that's kind of important. Well, let's get going. Well th there we are. So we are in a uh, we're in a dry dock here and um, what kind of a dry dock is this? Floating dry dock or is this a graving dock? Well, it's a graving dock. And what you see here is there is the, uh, I'm gonna just uh, inappropriately call it the fence in the background separating from uh, this graving dock from the harbor behind it. That vessel that you see uh, my marker on, that vessel is the, um, a ship which is sitting at the wet berth, at the wet berth. And uh, we also see some other parts here. These parts that are right up here that my uh, marker's on now, these are going to come in and be put here and they're gonna be assembled. So these are like the, uh, the mega blocks that we uh, talked about. I'm gonna have to kind of shift this uh, around a little bit. And um, I'm gonna pause. There you go. I wanted to uh, just to change the size of the framing there a little bit. And so we've talked about that. So we should see the ship at the wet dock. By the way, this is not called the gate or the fence or anything. This is called the caisson. And that's spelled with a C. And that's a, that, that holds back the harbor uh, from the graving dock. So here is the, uh, here's the first piece going in. And this is the equivalent of, a, of an old school sort of a keel lane. You see that there's a little bit of a platform dignitaries from the company, probably some, uh, some uh, all, who knows, all types of folks, they'd be sitting there uh, in chairs and, you know, this would be the dedication of the vessel as the keel was laid. But this is the, this is the, uh, the first piece. Now, this is a, this was a pre-made block. It's set into the, it's set into the, uh, the, uh, the uh, dry dock. And you can see that we're looking at a space called the double bottoms. And of course, you know all about double bottoms. 
and now we can see more pieces have been sent in and uh, that piece which was which was probably started was someplace in the middle but uh, you see that there's different pieces back here in the background and they've come in and you can start seeing some structure of what is basically the tank and I want to pause there again because I got to switch up to a different picture now this isn't exactly the same ship very very close to it not exactly the same ship it's roughly the same size but this is this is actually a, a model uh, that's um i believe i believe i took this picture down at the uh, at suny maritime i was down there a couple of years ago at a conference and i, I saw this picture and I, I i shot this picture just you know for um for the uh, ship structure class but what we're seeing here is the completed ship very similar to uh, the Alaska Frontier and we're seeing the uh, center tanks we're seeing the wing tank so this would be the port wing tank this would be the uh, center tank and this would be the starboard wing tank and you can clearly see you can clearly see the uh, double hull double bottom double side construction and um, also, and you know I'm going to ask this question, I'm visualizing who I'm going to ask in the class uh, as you stand there in front of me, but is this ship longitudinally framed or is it transversely framed? Well, come on, you know the answer to that because you've got to be looking for all these little longitudinals all the way around. Yeah, there's some big, these are called web frames and those are transverse structural members, absolutely, but the overriding, the structural members and you can see them you can see that the the detail all the way around including on the tank sides you can see them right here going up this uh, uh, longitudinal bulkhead okay so i'm going to pause there and go back to my uh, set of pictures from the shipyard build okay back again and still continuing on and i think that's probably we're just going to go straight through as we do this now well, there's that uh, bilge uh, strike right there. You can see where it's uh, in coming into place. Uh, this is a wing tank. You can see these are the straps of the crane that come down lifting it into place. And look how tight this is. There's, this ship was designed to be built at this shipyard and they maximized it to this particular view, there, uh, this particular dry dock. There is not a whole lot of extra room. I would, I would estimate that there is maybe six or eight feet in between the sidewall of the uh, dry dock and the sidewall uh, into the skin of the ship uh, on both the port and starboard side. And uh, you know, that's maximizing it. You can also see the blocks here, which are going to be supporting it. Notice there's a little bit of a bend here. So that might tell us that something is that we're getting up towards the bow of the ship. Sort of a bigger view there, looking down the, uh, looking down the tanks. Boy, that's really, uh, that's really a great shot. I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to move this. Um, I want to move my picture around so you can see uh, this side, that's kind of where we were just looking at it. And just notice how these blocks, which the ship sits on, they sort of change direction here. It appears that maybe the ship is getting narrower. And that's true on both sides, right? Okay, very good. Um, boy, look at the look what's coming in here. You can see this. Uh, 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 bulkhead that's being slipped into place that's going to be dividing some of the tanks uh, into you know number one number two and number three now these structures close-up view these are this is a ladder uh, in, in essence a stairway in the tank steel uh, ladderway uh, which would go switchback back and forth back and forth back and forth and that even though it's a tank you're not it's so big that you're not climbing down a just a steel rung ladder there are in essence of stairs inside that inside that tank there's the piping in the bottom of the ship it's all pre-built into the system as would be expected and i'm going to pause there just wanted to expand that view a little bit as the transition so we can see 
all the way from uh, the starboard side over to the port side, and you can see the curvature of the hull here as we start to move towards uh, towards the uh, end of the ship. Now, this is uh, actually coming towards the stern. I don't know what I, if I just said if I was talking about the bow before, but this is actually coming towards the uh, stern of the ship, and we're going to see how that's going to be built first. of it. Surprising how big it is. Nice little side view as we start to move aft. Clicking down, putting more pieces in. You see uh, working two cranes at once. This piece is coming in and this piece is coming in. And uh, we're starting to build up into the stern area of the ship. Notice the ship is getting a little bit more narrow back here. grows every day. Now this is starting to look a little bit interesting here. So again, we're at the stern of the ship. Just look at the way, look at the shape here and what's happening. Um, by the way, this tower over here is going to be an access tower, not part of the ship, but just an access tower. Once the ship is built in this area, the, uh, uh, personnel shipbuilders are going to have to have access to the ship and that's what that's all about. Hmm. Boy, that's something. That almost looks like a catamaran, which is coming back aft here. It's not, but it almost looks like these two structures here, one and two. But these are going to be, um, you know, well, it'll make sense. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say now, but it'll make sense uh, as we go through another couple of slides. Just take note of these, um, uh, you know, blocks here, these steel fabricated blocks. There's one, two, three. And there's something happening here, and that's going to be important. But just kind of keep your eye on that. We're seeing those same things one, two, three here, and just uh, kind of be wondering what those might be. And we can see, look at the harbor in the background here. Ah, what do you think? Here's the, uh, there's the uh, starboard shaft, and there's the port shaft. This is, this is going to be a twin screw ship. It's going to have two propellers and so that's what we're looking at here. This area that we're looking at right here is going to be part of the engine room. These things covered with uh, cloth, this is what's called the reduction gear. Basically we're talking about the transmission for the ship. There's one on the starboard side and there's one on the port side. So it is a twin screw ship. Now we're starting to get a little bit better view of the engine room. More coming to it, more coming to it, starting to get built up. Let's see, this would be, I suspect, this is going to be the forward bulkhead of the engine room. So see how this ship is growing as we click through it. Now this piece is going to be dropped in. <laughs> Look at these guys down here. You, you've got to have a lot of trust. I mean, they're sitting with, you know, but they've got their hard hats on in case. I got to make a joke here, you know, in case that uh, somebody uh, falls down there or that drops on, they'll be okay because they got their they got their hard hats on that. That's terrible. And look at these things here. These are the, uh, these blocks are going to be supporting something. These are the same, but they're on pillars. Just like you had the base of the shipyard, base of the dry dock, you had blocks for the main hull. We've got this thing, which is going to extend out towards the stern. And they're going to rest on these blocks. You see how they're kind of shaped? You see how they've kind of got a little bit of a, of a, of an angle to them, the top one in particular. It's meant to receive this area of the ship as it starts to build back towards those blocks. And you see that happening as they come back further and further. Each section they drop into place sets on those pillars. 
Now it's starting to look more. Ah, now we're all the way back to the stern of the ship. Now this is a transom stern. We just talked about sterns, and this is a transom stern. And you can see how those pillars with the blocks on them are supporting that stern area. Ah, here's where the shaft comes out of the hull. So basically we're talking about the stern frame here. And this area here would be the aperture. And you can see right where the shaft would come out. Different view. Just keep clicking through. Uh, putting more and more pieces in. And uh, <laughs> I've looked at these slides so many times, but every time I see them, I think to myself, that's a big ship. And uh, now there's the propeller going on the end of the shaft. Boy, isn't that something? Finishing it up. The uh, port propeller, protected, of course. We're gonna finish off this last piece. There it comes. You can see this would be the area where the rudder is going to fit underneath that. You'll see some completed shots that'll make a lot of sense to you when we get to that point. There you go. You're thinking to yourself, it must be almost done. No, not really. We're gonna put another section on. So these are gonna be, this should be uh, not tank area inside there. And I'm thinking about right up inside here. That's going to be storeroom area. And that's just going to be all welded together. And there it is. And now there's another section that comes into place here. We keep going. And still, oh, looks like we just changed color. So that's telling us something. And also notice that there is a, here we see some chalks. These are where the lines are going to come out. So this must be, this must be a weather deck up here. And I can see some pipe railings. So that's, uh, those are the chocks where the mooring lines would, would come out of. Okay, keep going, keep going. Ooh, something else coming in. Looks like part of the superstructure or we'll see what that is. There's that access tower for workers. It's now been moved into place. Ah, now here comes the, uh, here comes the structure of the house is being dropped into place and this Right, so I can look right there. What is that? Anybody, can anybody pick out what that is? Anybody know what that is as you look at it? Looks to me like that is the uh, running light up on the up on the bridgeway. The running light up on the bridgeway. Hmm. Isn't that something? Or close to it. Now it's being uh, shrouded. Uh, that's telling me that there's going to be some painting involved in it. And so now we've flipped around. Now we are looking uh, back towards, we're at the bow of the ship and we're looking back towards it. Now we're flipped over to the other side. Here's the bridge wing that comes out. It's been finished off now. And uh, more structures going into place. Another good shot of the bridge wing. This area right here. Uh, you know, when we were actually looking at that before, that wasn't the bridge wing. That was an area called the breakwater because it seas start coming up over the deck of the ship. It's much like you would have a breakwater, you know, in a harbor. Um, harbors around the world have breakwaters and you have a breakwater on a ship which protects the house. And it's a little bit stiffer, a little bit stronger, and it protects the, it protects the house. So that wasn't the bridge wing, my mistake. Uh, you would think I would know that after looking at these so many times, but it's been about a year. There's a great shot. In case you didn't uh, understand that there's no smoking aboard a tanker, there's no smoking aboard a tanker. It just doesn't happen. So uh, used to be that you could, you could smoke in your stateroom or things, but I don't think that's even done anymore now, at least with uh, most of the companies. Okay, moving along. A lot of stuff on deck, which is all shipyard stuff. I need these blue boxes, and there's a lot of things, and but these are these are all shipyard boxes. 
Uh, this is the main uh, main piping running back and forth on the main deck. I kind of alluded to that in my class last in the lecture of 5A last week. And going athwart ships, in other words, left and right transverse, you see some pipes going right here. And these are the cargo manifolds. And you can see right there, that's the uh, that's the end of the cargo manifold. You can see they're kind of colored yellow. I don't know if that's the way they're painted or if that was just protective plastic put over the end of those pipes, but that's where you would make the short connection right there. This is a mast um, in order to be lifting stuff. There's a mast and a crane and a boom on that as well. Both port and starboard side. Um, the lifeboat davits, lifeboat, lifeboats are not aboard yet. All righty. Looks like a radar antenna up there. A little bit of a separation between this house and this house here. Probably a catwalk goes over back and forth. So now we're uh, we're going back to the construction, but this is this one is moving towards the bow, uh, and so we can see the bow structure. We're going to click through this. Uh, pieces are being laid down. Pieces are being laid down. Pieces on and on and on, and we're going to go through it pretty quickly. We see the tanks, they're being formed. Uh, we're starting to get a little bit more narrow. You see, we're starting to move in towards the actual bow of the ship. Here's double bottom space. Getting narrower and narrower. It's still a cargo tank, but it's a very small cargo tank. Now, look up, just look at the dimension and the size of the ship. It almost feels like probably in the next picture we're going to see the bulbous bow, or soon we'll see the bulbous bow being put in place. Well, there it is. There's the, but look at the size of that. Those, those are, as in essence, those are decks. One, two, two and a half decks in here. That's not a livable space by any means, but that just tells you, you know, how big that, how big that space is how big that space is. Kind of interesting, isn't it? Now, good shot of the interior framework of the bulbous bow. And there's the final shot of it. So now we've gone end to end to the very forward extreme uh, from, the, from the end on the stern to the very forward extreme. Makes me think about a word that we learned early in the class, uh, uh, length overall, right? These are temporary railings here, just for the safety of workers. They're gonna be removed as they build up. Now, this is harbor. Here's the here's the gate or the caisson holding the harbor back from the, the dry area of the shipyard. Uh, here's the uh, cast steel area of lip of the hose pipe, quite quite substantial. So this is the where the anchor would come out. And we keep building up. We'll keep building up. Here comes the name. It's going to sit down around that, and uh, we'll just watch that come down. Gets welded into place. Has to be all lined up perfectly. Now, uh, there's a good question for you. What do you think all these lines are? You know, all these lines right here. Could those possibly be? Ah, it's going to be so it can be tented, tented, or so it can be draped over. And so now we have a little bit of a, con um, we have an environment under that tent where we can do, uh, well, first of all, there's going to be some preparation, probably some shot blasting. And, and then some painting will be done underneath that. Uh, now we have the, the uh, final paint job on there and it's starting to look more and more like a ship, nice and shiny. We uh, notice that lines are being brought out. Look at that. Here's a, a bow line, here's another, here's another bow line that goes down. Uh, boy, it, you know, I wonder I wonder if this ship is actually floating or not. Yeah, it looks to me like we're uh, we're starting to put water in. So now they're, uh, they're getting ready to physically launch the ship. 
They're going to bring water into the into the uh, graving dock, get the ship floating, and it's almost there. It's right now. It's still on the blocks. It's not floating yet, but and then it's going to move to what's called the wet dock. We talked about that. And so I know that it's still it's not floating because it's still on this area right here. It's still on these. Uh, it's still on these extended blocks. You know, we can see that it hasn't lifted off that yet. There it goes. Now we can see that it's being moved away. The blocks are not carrying the load. Notice, I want you to notice something. See that unpainted area, that unpainted area, that unpainted area? That's all gonna have to be taken care of as much as possible. There you go. And it is the Alaska Frontier from Portland, Oregon. And this is where the tug makes up. And if you didn't know it, you'd know it now because there's an arrow say, put the tug here. This is a line handling boat. It's gonna be, it's not a tugboat. It's a pretty cool job though, to be uh, under the ship when it's being launched, isn't it? Isn't it, would that be kind of neat? Okay, we're gonna move out. We see the lines being moved down the dock. Uh, very, very carefully, very, very slowly using tugboats to move it out, tugs, tugboats and lines. I think that's the end of the show, yeah. I think I can go back, but I can't. Yep, that's the end of the show. So, uh, I'm gonna pause for a minute. I wanna go back to the original uh, picture so we can uh, see that. Be back in just a minute. All right, well, uh, good. Um, let's see, the ship was the Alaska Frontier. We can see it all in its all of its glory here. Uh, the ship was built by NASCO, and that is National Steel and Shipbuilding Company. That's part of General Dynamics. That is the same General Dynamics that has Bath Ironworks. And these photos are courtesy of uh, Lee Phipps, and we see that right down here in the corner. Thank you, Lee, uh, for sending those to us back in the day. And, um, well, this is pretty good stuff. We saw all those pictures. Here's the manifold, here's the crane, uh, here's the house and the lifeboats, there's that after house with the stack and the radar stack and the bridge wings and everything that happened back there, the propeller aperture. Uh, remember this is twin screw and how that all came together. And um, we'll just kind of look down the length of the ship. And uh, so, I'm going to have another question for you. The first question that I asked about was when was the Alaska Frontier launched and what were some of the particulars? And particulars mean, uh, let's see, I want, uh, let's see if we can come up with, um, uh, well, first of all, as I said, when it was launched, let's talk about um, uh, length overall, uh, breadth, and what else should we have? Um, let's see, well, you tell me, what else can you come up with? Let's have it short, you know, maybe two or three sentences. Maybe you're gonna talk to me about uh, what was its trade route? What did, it, what did it do? What was the trade route? Uh, where do they go? Where do they go? Where do they pick up oil? Where do they come back to? So on and so forth. Uh, why don't you tell me uh, something a little bit interesting about it. So I'll post that in the, um, in the discussion. Let's get everybody involved. And what I'm doing with the discussions, by the way, I'm doing it so that I'm gonna publish these discussions for two days. It'll close down on Tuesday night at midnight. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be available today and it will be available tomorrow until midnight. And I think, and um, you can confirm this for me, that you're not seeing everybody else's responses until you actually type something. Uh, that's the way it's supposed to be working. So hopefully I've been able to uh, have, have that work out. All right, well, good day. That's um, just under 29 minutes and 30 seconds. And so I'm, looks like my timing's pretty good. Adios from, uh, from the house. Uh, best to all of you and take care, all right? See you and talk to you. Don't forget, you've got a glossary quiz coming up on uh, the next two pages in the glossary. 
and that's coming up on uh, coming up on Wednesday. And the file drawing is going to be needed as well. Bye bye.